from candlelight to symbol of wisdom. Inviting candlelight to exist inside while meditating is a technique to still the mind inside the chamber of origin. From the gentle stillness, wisdom comes. Then the flame is turned to be the symbol of wisdom of the statue of Lord Buddha or Buddha image, which Buddhists call the or the eternal flame on the top knot of the head of the statue. Not only in the day of Buddhist Lent, but also throughout the year, during any time of meditation, Buddhists like to light a candle and love to make the flame to be the tool of concentration or only to decorate the atmosphere, to make it more serene. Buddhists love any kind of light. It could be a flame of a candle, a candle or flame from a cotton thread soaked with oil in a tiny bowl, or even in a coconut shell. It is used for chanting or meditating. Buddhists will chant or meditate until the flame fades away. This could be in the late afternoon or in the evening. Inside their shelter, or out at the temple place or stupa. The outside light acts as the shade of peace, but it is only external. The real peace should be inside, because it is the production of mind. When they are in the process of true meditation, a Buddhist always invites the image of candlelight in and places it at the center of the body, inside the chamber of origin. The teaching of Buddhism said, wisdom is inside, the body of wisdom or body of enlightenment is at the center of the body. Then, when they meditate, they learn to travel inward, and by visualization, the candlelight is the landmark inside. The 
body of wisdom or body of enlightenment is the body of truth that turned Prince Siddhartha to be the Lord Buddha. Buddhism said to be the Lord Buddha one must blend the two bodies to be as one. They are the physical body with 32 signs of a great man called Rupakaya and the principal body or body of wisdom that is the body of enlightenment called Tamakaya. Tamakaya, or body of enlightenment, is provable only by true meditation through the center of the body after the stillness at that point is completed. Then the true traveling inward begins. As candlelight can lighten up the darkness of the night, the truth of enlightenment can conquer all troubles. Based on this principle, candlelight turns to be the symbol of wisdom. With this reason, the flame of candlelight that turns to be the symbol of wisdom has been put on the top knot of the Statue of Wisdom or Buddha image. This belief firstly became visible at Sri Lanka around a thousand years ago. This was not the first time that a Statue of Wisdom was made and from then on the flood of culture and changes, most of Southeast Asia was influenced. And in Thailand, the most flourished land of Buddhism. This type of statue was seen in the time of Sukhothai period or around 900 years ago when the exchange of Buddhist monks between the two Buddhist countries were made. In Thailand, this type of statue was named Get Pleo. This has then come to be the major type of statue making of wisdom from Sukhothai to Ayutthaya until now.
Geert Bleu, with the symbol of wisdom, is not the true picture of the body of enlightenment. It is only the image of light that stimulates wisdom. It is only to convey the truth that the real light is the light of wisdom founded by Lord Buddha through meditation. It is the eternal light to lighten up the world of troublesome in which we survive. <laughs>